Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how you can make a search facility in SQL Server. Uh, to do this, you need to make sure that your server is running the full text search service and you've actually installed it. The easiest way to do this is to right click on any table. Uh, it must have some text columns in it, but then there should be a full text index uh, menu option here. If this is greyed out and you can't click on it, it means your SQL Server Management Studio hasn't been installed uh, fully on your SQL Server. So you will need to um, reinstall it and add on full text indexing searches. Uh, once you've done that, then you should be able to click on here and then define full text index. And basically you walk through a very easy screen that Basically, you just have to tick all of the text fields that you want to make searchable in your database. Um, here, let's go back here again. So I have, uh, this is from Find a Channel, which is a directory of YouTube sites. Um, I've got like, quite a lot of uh, fields here. The database is quite big, uh, but I can search the description and the title are the main ones. So we can search those. Uh, let's have a basic look at how you can search uh, data. So obviously you can use the um, like operator and put in percentage signs. Uh, let's have a look. The good thing about this is that you don't actually need to uh, put a SQL Server full text index on a database. It will also very standard. This is very standard uh, SQL and it will work on any pretty much any sql database so you can see we're looking for the warzone game and we get plenty of results back uh you can put in longer phrases as well so this will work quite well and you see we're finding quite good results here um so if you have a very small database uh you don't have to bother really with the full text index you can just use this it does go a bit wrong though, because if you search for kitchen knife, then you'll get different results if you search for kitchen knives, the plural. So the problem with this is that uh, this is called word stemming. Um, it's very common in English. We don't have it on all languages, but in uh, most Western languages, European languages, uh, Different word endings mean that you'll get different searches if you just use like. Uh, so we shall look at full text index to see how it handles uh, searching. Okay, there's a few queries here. Uh, so the basic keyword you want here is contains. Uh, so you just do a select start from the name of the table. Uh, star here, you can put uh, column names in if you only want to search particular column names, but because I just want to like search all of the columns I've already set up in the index, I'll just use a star. Um, let's have a run. One thing you'll notice about this is way, way quicker than the previous queries. So you can see that this one was really slow. That takes several seconds to run. Uh, whereas this one is almost instantaneous. Uh, I got about 67,000 rows in my database for this. So this is much quicker. Uh, you can put in longer phrases. Uh, let's search on this. Uh, we have an error here. Yeah, uh, the problem with contains is that it will only work on a single word. Uh, you can do longer phrases. You can put them in quotes, like double quotes around a phrase with uh, spaces in. So this will work, but this becomes like an exact match. So it has to be exactly Call of Duty. Um, you can use Booleans like and and or not. So this finds Call and Duty. But this doesn't necessarily mean that they'll be next to each other. So you might have some other things. Uh, let's see. Although 
these results aren't too bad. Uh, are these? Oh, there's a home care. Uh, this is probably about care, calling, uh, people being on call and duty and things. So as you see, we have got a few. Uh, there's a lot of gaming channels these days, but we do have a few. Uh, this is about iPhones and things. So you can use Boolean logic, uh, but it would involve some processing of your search query. Um, if it's a search from a, on a website, then you get all kinds of user input you'd have to mess around with. So I prefer to use the free text uh, command instead of contains. Uh, this one, you can just put in all kinds of text. Uh, I think this will work. I don't think you need the quotes. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this one is also very fast. Uh, I don't know how if it's fast and contains, but that seemed pretty good. Um, so you can put in everything. So Call of Duty Warzone, you could put in a lot, uh, really long stream of text in there, and it will find all sorts of things. I would definitely. Uh, I tend to prefer free text, although it's probably good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have a few other weird things. So the search results aren't quite as precise if you use this. Um, let's have a look at the results here. Okay, so they're not uh, quite so good. Uh, I definitely prefer contains is more accurate. Uh, that one didn't work, does it? Um, so this one is more accurate. Uh, what I do in my website is that I will use this one first. If we don't get any results or there aren't many results, then I will call this one, uh, which is less precise. Okay, let's have a look at some more options for doing full text search. Uh, this is very useful. Uh, this query is a lot longer, but if you use contains table and free text table, uh, they're very similar to contains and free text. However, for this one, you can get the rank back. Uh, this is like the score assigned to each row uh, to see how closely it matches the query. Um, you'll see now that the difference between this one and in the previous uh, one here is that we now have the rank column which is here. Uh, so basically you use this query which I found somewhere online. Uh, contains table is similar although you need the table name you're searching as the first parameter. Uh, columns I just use star go in the second one. This is the query what we're searching for. And the 50 here, this is the number of results you want. So it could be 50 or 100 or any number. I don't think I have enough channels to show 100 results. Uh, let's see. So again, this is very quick. Uh, yeah, we only have 50. And I would say this is quite precise. Uh, the good thing is that because we've got the rank here, you can see the ones at the bottom doesn't think are very relevant. Uh, this one is very relevant. Uh, it's obviously, yeah, it has Warzone in the description. It may actually have it in other things as well. Uh, it's got it in the keywords as well. Yeah, uh, so these have it in the YouTube keywords as well. So they get much more relevancy score. Um, a uh, bit of an aside here, but I find that people don't really do SEO much on their YouTube channels. Uh, this is a very famous uh, J God streamer, but um, I don't think he has, uh, he doesn't really mention Warzone in his keywords, so it doesn't rank so high in this search. Okay, so you can use free text table as well. Let's see. Uh, this will also give a rank. Uh, as a very general rule of thumb, I normally take the first rank score, like 872, um, divide it by half. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, eight, 
So that would give 436. Uh, where's 436? Okay, so I would tend to cut things off here and then not show the users these because um, this actually works a bit better in MySQL, although SQL Server, I would cut out these. Uh, yeah, I think that's quite good actually because, yeah, that one's Warzone, but this one's about fitness in general. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, maybe Eclipse channel. So basically, if you are, just do a different search. Obviously, you can order by rank, although it normally does that by default. Um, so I would take the top, uh, what's that, 240. Uh, maybe have a cutoff at 240. Uh, yeah, because most uh, other things. Okay, so that was an overview of how to use full text index. Um, I definitely recommend it as you see, uh, if you do a like query on a big table, I have 60,000 odd rows, so it can be very, very slow. So SQL Server full text index is much better. Okay, thanks for watching.